All right, y'all. So uh, welcome back to Guns and Barbecue. Today we're gonna do uh, bacon wrapped jalapeno chicken thighs. Stay tuned. All right. So <clears throat> gonna be doing some chicken thighs. Yes, I am working at my table because well, my lighting in my kitchen sucks for these for this video. So uh, no big deal. We're just gonna do this real quick because the first part of this is literally we're just gonna take the chicken thighs out of this vacuum seal bag and put them in this Ziploc bag. Sounds a little redundant, but you'll see why in a minute. All right, now that is six chicken thighs inside of the vacuum seal bag. That probably helps out a lot, don't it, if I turn on my really good lighting. So we'll do that for you folks real quick. So, got six chicken thighs inside of the vacuum seal bag now. Um, now you could just put this all in one big bowl, that's fine, but uh, I like to do it inside of the Ziploc bag because I can kind of compress it so it marinates better and whatnot. Um, but all I'm going to do is take Italian dressing now and add it to... The chicken. Want to make sure that you get all of the chicken covered. Now, uh, that was one bottle. As you can see, could, pro eh, could probably get away with that, but um, I bought two bottles, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to use two bottles. You can use whatever Italian dressing you prefer to use. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can mix kinds. You can get a zesty and a regular, whatever the heck it is that you wish to do, do it with this recipe. All right. Chicken thighs in the bag, two bottles of Italian dressing, squeeze out the air, and we're gonna let that marinade in that Italian dressing for mm, half a day, maybe a day, if you got a little bit of time to kill, maybe two days if you want. Uh, and then we're going to come back and uh, go on to the next step. All right, y'all, so I have let these marinate for close to 14, maybe 16 hours. I'm going to try and stay out of the way of the camera here. Uh, I don't know how successful I'm going to be, so we'll see what happens. So you're going to need some thick cut bacon. And you're going to need your chicken thighs that we soaked and marinated in Italian dressing. Now you can do this with any chicken. It doesn't have to be chicken thighs. You can do it with chicken breast. You can do it with uh, drumsticks. Um, heck, you want to go as far as doing it with chicken wings, do it with chicken wings. It's just a lot of work. Um, I got a cookie sheet here. We're just going to get these pulled out of the dressing. Now when you're all done, just throw this dressing away. Don't try and use it for anything. Um, real great way to get salmonella and try and kill yourself and your family. Um, just don't do it. Now normally I do this recipe with boneless, skinless uh, chicken breast. Typically because boneless skinless chicken breast can always use a little bit of help so we're just going to let these sit here for a few and kind of run out and say that's all the dressing and whatnot that we're going to discard right, now if you're going to just do this with a boneless skinless chicken breast all you got to do is take your jalapeno and chop it up into medallions when cutting this jalapeno, you could take all the seeds out if you want. I want the heat. I'm leaving the seeds in. So, if you're going to do this with uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast, which is what I normally do this with, 
Um, you just take and set the jalapenos on top and then wrap it in bacon. Um, being as this is a bone-in skin thigh, um, be a little bit different process. And that's one of the reasons I actually chose to go with thighs for this was just for this reason. So you're gonna peel that skin back. I need to get a rag real quick. Sorry about that. Actually, I don't even know why I'm doing that. I should get these all peeled back. Actually, we're only gonna peel back three of them because the kids need to eat too. I know. Should probably make them, you know, make their own food or something, but apparently I like them. I don't know. But so, Dad. speak of the devil. What, bud? Dad. What, bud? Mama home. Mama's home? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That feels skinless. Alright, so we got one that's skinless. So we're going to push that up there. Go on. Go get sissy. Then, like I said, we're going to get all these, all the skin peeled back on these. I am using Weber Cowboy Rub. Um, I actually really like this seasoning. The only thing I don't like about it is it comes out really heavy. Um, just with the way it is. So we're going to season the meat itself. And we're going to get some garlic powder. Come back over top of that. Now for my jalapenos. I like to try and just cover the top of that thigh. Slice a couple more of these. Thought I might have been able to get away with one jalapeno. But this is why it's always good to get a couple extra. You could do this recipe with pickled jalapenos from a jar, but that sounds like blasphemy. If you enjoy communism, you'll enjoy that. Um, if you enjoy freedom, you'll enjoy going and getting your own jalapenos, cutting them up yourself, and being American. That one was a little thick, but that's all. All right. So now that we've got the jalapenos on the chicken, we're just going to pull this skin back up over. If you have any jalapenos fall off like I just did, excuse the screaming three-year-old. Just tuck them back up in there, no big deal. And just like that, that one's done. Take this next one, again, just kind of hold those jalapenos in place. Got one falling off, that's all right. Just tuck it back up in there. And then this last one here. Now you can do this with other peppers too. Um, you can do it with onions, all kinds of stuff. You, use your imagination. Uh, like I said, I'm using Weber Cowboy Rub. You don't have to use that. Use whatever seasonings you like and prefer. We're going to dust the outside of these now. So again, I hit it with the cowboy rub. I'm gonna come back in with some garlic powder. Now what I'm gonna do is give myself a nice big working area here. I'm gonna take a couple of strips of bacon. This is thick cut, at least it's supposed to be. And we're going to lay it down on the cookie sheet. And we are going to fold 
of bacon up over our chicken thigh, just as such. And that's one done. Take your next chicken thigh, pick it up, put it on there, wrap it in the bacon as such. Uh oh. Now, if it comes out from underneath, no big deal. Just pick it up, tuck it a little bit further underneath. I gotta tell you, this smells incredible already. I cannot wait to get it on the smoker. Speaking of the smoker, I'm gonna just wrap one, of the, one more of these for you folks while I'm talking. Uh, I'll tell you about the smoker, what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be putting them on my Traeger. Uh, I got a Pro Series 34. Um, I've had that thing for, I think seven years now, a good long time. Um, Great, great pellet smoker. I'm going to put these on there at 275 degrees until we come up to about 145 internal temp. Then I'm going to ramp that heat up to about uh, 350, 375 and really try and crisp up that skin. Now realize with the skin on, it's not going to get as crispy as you would like because it's soaked in Italian dressing. It's just the way it's going to be. So um, once I get all these wrapped we'll come back and be going out to the smoker now as folks can see i got those on a thigh rack like i said uh 275 we're going to go until these hit about a uh, 145 degrees internal temp and then we're going to ramp them up to about 350 and finish them off all right y'all so there they are um they smell incredible they look great now i pulled these off a little bit late i typically like to get them off at 165 degrees internal temp uh, well a little bit before that because they're going to climb up a little bit still uh, i pulled these off at about 170 so they hit about 175 which isn't a big deal there's a lot of people that don't pull their thighs off until they are 175 degrees internal so um these are going to be just fine they're going to be amazing i'm sure uh i should probably cut one and open it up and show it to you so i'm going to let them rest for a second and do that Now, like I said, these are bone in, so we're not going to be going the whole way through. But as you can see, that just looks absolutely incredible in there. So, um, we'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please share it around. Tell your friends and family, all that fun jazz. Uh, and give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, these are absolutely incredible, I tell you what. So, uh, thanks again. Hit those like, share, comment, subscribe buttons, and I'll catch you all later. Perfect. 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 So now that's the easy part of this whole thing. Son of a bitch. Luckily this is not Canadian bacon, this is regular American bacon. If this was Canadian bacon, they probably require it to get a shot.